Well, good morning, Makandang Umaga, and welcome to today's episode of My PI Dream. Today is Wednesday, and today we are supposed to be visited by our waterproofing team that did the initial waterproofing for the cistern here in the backyard. And you're probably wondering why are this waterproofing team coming again? Well, if you remember from previous episodes on the cistern uh, saga, we're gonna call it the cistern saga, uh, you know that we still haven't uh, fixed the leak that we have inside the cistern. Uh, so we're gonna talk a little bit about that this morning after the brief intro here, and you'll kind of get an understanding of what is happening, because I think I found out why we're losing so much water, as well as what might be some of the possible solutions to fix this. Uh, so anyway, let's go ahead and get today started. So without further delay, let's get today's video underway. It seems with all this rain that we've had here lately, uh, everything around the yard is really starting to get green and I see new growth on the plants. Uh, the raised bed garden is doing well. You have to excuse the echo that, uh, maybe you hear the echo coming up right now because I'm sitting directly above uh, the cistern with the hatch open right now and, and it's a big hollow three, three and a half by three and a half by three and a half uh, hollow space beneath us right here. Uh, so where was I? Oh, I was talking about the, uh, the the green coming from as a result of the all the rain that we've had here. Now sitting here on top of the raised bed garden, which is on top of the cistern, uh, I wanted to show you something. Uh, I'm going to pull up one of these little things right here. Uh, you can kind of see my strawberries. Uh, we got a bunch of strawberries out here. Uh, uh, well, not a bunch. I had. I started with two, uh, two strawberry plants. Remember, we got from Ryan's, uh, from Ryan's nursery over in Rosario, and they started to branch out. And they had these little runners that came from the main plant, and I just kind of. Uh, as they started to root in the natural ground, I pulled them out and I put them inside these pots. I'm going to let them propagate inside here. So from those two plants, uh, I've managed to make about seven or eight other little strawberry plants. So our garden is growing. It's what's so neat about gardening is uh, the plants themselves will start to propagate. Like the pineapple that we have here in the garden, one pineapple will make another pineapple as it grows and you take it off, you pull the top off of that and you'll make more and more pineapples and you can start growing from a single pineapple, which is the same case with the strawberries. It's kind of neat, as, as well as many of the other plants that we have going on around here. We started out with only a couple of dragon fruit. Now we have inside here, we have eight dragon fruit uh, that is starting and hopefully they'll grow and we'll end up getting some dragon fruit here in the next year or so. Now let's get back to the main focus of today. And today has to do with the cistern, with the leak in the cistern. Uh, we're, we are going to do, for the benefit of the viewers who haven't watched uh, m many of the episodes, uh, maybe some new viewers here, many of the episodes here on My PI Dream, uh, we have a saga going on, and the saga has to do with a leak in a cistern. Uh, again, for those of you who ha are not familiar with the history behind this cistern right here, uh, when the contractor built the cistern, uh, he wasn't aware of modern or the, the process for waterproofing uh, cisterns properly. So they just put a bunch of concrete hollow blocks and some plaster coat, and they did some minor waterproofing using the waterproofing that we use for the exterior of the house, but they used it for the inside of this tank. Uh, and it was never meant to hold water. Uh, so, and it didn't, it didn't hold water. All the water ended up leaking out. So the cistern couldn't be used with the intent of storing water. Uh, so we hired a company to come in and do a analysis and a fix action. And that company's name is VP Seal. And they came out, oh, I think they started, I'm gonna say somewhere around uh, January or February of this year, of 2019. And uh, they, they sanded down, they did uh, cleaning up 
of the mistakes that were made by the contractor and they put some wire mesh in there and if you want to watch those those are in previous episodes i'll try to see if i can find that and put that on the end of today's episode uh, so that you can click and go back and review some of the processes that we did with the uh, earlier uh, upgrade of the cistern uh, so they did the upgrade they put some wire mesh in there that was encapsulated inside some uh, waterproofing concrete they did some waterproofing on top of that and, uh, and that happened uh, the last, I think the last stage of that was uh, about the last week of March, just before we went on vacation, uh, uh, the very last day of March. Uh, well, when we put the water and we did a flood test, which is normally done at the end of a waterproofing process, uh, the cistern did not hold, it did not, not hold water, it still leaked. Uh, so we had to find out where the leak was but it was so late before we went on vacation we put it on hold and we said when we come back from vacation uh, we would re-attack uh, the the issue of leaking water and we would try to fix this problem so here it is uh, fast fo forward uh, from March 2019 to here in September of 2019 and I contacted the company and I asked them to please come back and let's finish up this project in the meantime, they asked me to uh, evacuate the water out of the cistern, uh, which is what I've done. And I evacuated the water. And when I did that, uh, I, I noticed, since we're having all this rain here, uh, and when I got down near the bottom, uh, and I turned off the water supply that goes inside. I plugged off the cap from uh, where we get our rainwater from, which is from the roof, the secret gutter system on our house that per feeds into the cistern. And I capped that off inside the cistern. So we had no water going in, but I kept hearing water flowing inside the, the cistern. I kept thinking, did I do something wrong? Did I turn off all the valves properly? And I had, I had everything turned off. Then I crawled down inside of the cistern and it was like a waterfall uh, in two spots right here in the corner uh, of the bottom side of the last step going uh, on the ladder, the concrete ladder that was built that was integrated into the cistern itself. And it's two big holes up underneath the bottom and then the water was just pouring uh, from the saturated water from the outside. This was the reverse of what we normally do. Normally we lose water from inside the cistern and it goes out. But since we've had so much water uh, from this tropical depression uh, that's been pulling all the water up from the west and flooding us every single day here for the last week, uh, we have a, a water table that's up and it's pushing water back into the cistern inside here. And that was evident uh, from some of the video that I took last night. I went down inside and it was dark. You're not gonna see the picture too well because it was dark, but I just heard the water and I needed to find out where the water was coming from uh, so that I could show evidence to the VP SEAL team when they come here. So as far as I know, that is the main place that we are leaking water. And I did a calculation, I did a rough calculation. I did a calculation when I filled up the tank and I marked it uh, where the water was and I watched over about three days and I calculated how much water we had lost. And from that calculation, I calculated we were losing somewhere between 5,000 and 10,000 liters per day. Then I did another calculation last night. I went down and I looked at the amount of water and I just did a rough calculation from the water that was pouring from the bottom of the, uh, the ladder rung that was pouring back into the tank uh, for after we had evacuated the water. And I calculated again that I was losing probably around, somewhere around five liters uh, per minute, if not more, five liters per minute. Uh, from the flow and that was just a guess that was a rough guess now when I took both of the calculations together and uh, I took everything and my water bill as well it all showed <laughs> that uh, my water bill because we supplement the water inside the tank here with our well water here in the subdivision uh, it it all the numbers came roughly to about the same number which says we're probably losing about 7,500 liters per day with this leak that we have inside this uh, in the cistern right now. Well, now I'm waiting on the VP SEAL guys to come here 
and let me know. I had this thing evacuated, but there's water back inside because of the water that's coming in. As it's starting to rain right now again. Uh, when it rains a lot and the ground gets saturated, the water goes right back in through that hole, that, that leak we have through the wall of the, the base of the cistern and starts filling it back up again from the water table outside. Well, now it's starting to rain again. I'm gonna go back inside the house and uh, wait for the team to come here. I couldn't get all the water out of the bottom, but I think since I know pretty much where the wa water is coming from, I think that area is dried enough that they can actually uh, do the repair action with about, oh, I don't know, about mm, 40 centimeters of water still in the bottom of this uh, cistern. I think that part's good. Well, let me go inside, it's starting the rain, I'm getting wet, and we'll continue as soon as the VP Seal guys come here and we'll see what their analysis and what their recommendation is for the fix action. Well, the fine folks from VP Seal just came. Uh, they did an inspection, we went down, I showed them the video of the water uh, seeping in. They looked at the points of the, the vulnerability points and they said, yeah, uh, this was something that they missed. They, they fessed up that uh, it was something that they were concerned about putting too much of the coating on that portion of the wall because that's the, the steps, that's the ladder going down. And if they did a build up, then it would be difficult to get up and down. So what they're going to do, instead of using the same technique that they used on the rest of the wall with the build up, with the wire mesh, and the cementuous uh, uh, coating that they put on there, what they're going to do, they're gonna use a fiberglass mesh and do the entire, I believe they're going to do the entire ladder system inside. It's very thin, but it's just like, it's like the fiberglass that you would put like if you were building a swimming pool. Uh, so they're gonna come back and do that. Uh, and that will be done on Friday. Uh, so they'll be back here with, a, I think he said they're going to have a team of two that will go inside there, make sure the water's evacuated. They'll be doing the plugging inside there, and then they will begin the process uh, to do the fix action on there. Well, as expected, the fine folks from VP Seal, they came, they did the inspection, uh, and we looked at everything, we reviewed the video because it was really pouring in there last night. Now with the water table back down again, uh, it's just a small amount of water seeping inside those holes at the bottom rung. Uh, but they did the inspection and they explained that they didn't do the same type of waterproofing on the stair uh, ladder walkway area that they did on the rest of the, of the, uh, the cistern. And the reason for that was that they were concerned uh, that if they put too much of a build up on there, it would be very difficult to go up and down the ladder. Uh, so they admitted that it was probably something that they should have spent a little bit more attention on and they're going to fix it. That's now what I like about this company is they're up front. They're up front letting, letting you know uh, that maybe they should have done something a little bit different before, but they're going to fix it. They're going to resolve the problem and make it right. That's a good feeling uh, and that's what you need if you hire somebody to come to your home uh, and do some work for you as well. Uh, so they'll be back on Friday. We'll get that taken care of and hopefully uh, after that gets done, we'll do another flood test and we'll have all our problems solved. You need a bath. Yeah, that was... Well, that is about it for today's episode. And thank you for hanging in there uh, while we continue with the sister and saga. But I gotta say, I really am confident that the team at VP Seal are gonna take care of this and make sure that we get this thing totally sealed watertight and we don't have any problems with it anytime in the near future. Uh, so with that being said, I want to thank all of you who make your contribution by doing comments on the uh, channel here, uh, whether it be a recommendation or a comment on something that I've done. Uh, sometimes we use your recommendations, sometimes we don't, but the thing is whether we use your recommendations or not, the interactivity that you have with the channel helps many other people as well because other people might have a uh, different kind of taste than I do and they want might want to implement those suggestions as well uh, and I'm talking about things such as people making recommendations about how to do handles on the the doors up in the uh, comfort room for that cabinet work that we just did or anything as far as anything else that we do inside here as far as the the garage the basement the man cave and all oh we are going to have some exciting I I, I hope this isn't a spoiler alert but we're gonna have some exciting uh, I think projects 
in the near future uh, that concerns doing upgrades inside the man cave. I don't want to give it away right now, uh, and it, but I, I will tell, it, tell you it happens to be that area with the big sliding glass window that's kind of uh, vacant. I was going to put a pool table inside there, a billiard table inside there, but I decided against that. Although I would like to have a billiard table inside there, I think there's something else that I can build in that area that might be more useful and we might get more use in our house with our friends and our family as well. Now with all of that out of the way, I am gonna close for today for sure. So if you enjoyed today's video, please give me a thumbs up, please share, and if you have not subscribed, just click on that little My PI Dream Heart in the bottom right hand side of your screen. You'll be subscribed and you'll be notified the next time I upload a new video. So until such time, you have a wonderful and blessed day. today's episode and you would like to see more just like these just click on one of the helpful links over to your right and you might be able to pick up on some good information on DIY projects how to or if you are interested in moving to the Philippines and building you'll find answers there as well <music>